Hi, my name is Kim and I'm so excited to start my YouTube channel finally. It's going to be a weight loss channel. I've been trying to lose weight for a while now. I know it's cliche, but I'm starting today, January 1st. Happy New Year. This is the year I'm going to finally lose 100 pounds. Hopefully. It has been one year since I started my weight loss journey. I think it was an accumulation of things that made me believe this was it. This was the year I'd do it. I had recently gotten a checkup and my doctor recommended the keto diet. She said I could eat eggs and bacon and cheese and all I had to give up was carbs and sugar. She said it was easy. January 1st was around the corner and I was tired of sitting at home with no confidence to get dressed up and go out, no confidence to meet someone or further my career. My unhappiness with my weight was holding me back. I always wanted a YouTube channel so I could share advice and help people. Everything was coming into play and on January 1st, 2018, I decided that my story would not end here. I filmed myself on day one so I would have a before video and then posted my first YouTube video three weeks later with my diet results. Nervous about the comments I'd get, I still posted it and since then have been surprised by the kindness and support you all have given me. I knew I was losing this weight for me, but then I felt like I wanted to succeed for you too. That helped keep me motivated. It turned out that keto was easy. Sure, I'd think about carbs and sugar sometimes, but then I'd just cook something else that was just as tasty and part of my diet. Everything I ate had flavor for once. I was using fat like butter, mayo, oil, and cheese with no fear, something I'd never been able to do on other diets. Eventually, it didn't even feel like I was on a diet. I no longer craved sugar or carbs. I learned there were ways to eat substitutions for those things, like cauliflower rice or pizza. I learned about keto baking so I could make low-carb bread or desserts. I started to enjoy cooking and meal prepping, something I wasn't a fan of before. I was becoming this like health and fitness person and I couldn't believe how easy it was and how great I was feeling. The weight flew off at first, of course, <laughs> and then it slowed down. I went through plateaus, but I never gave up. I knew this way of eating was my new lifestyle and that if I tweaked some things, if I checked my macros and if I worked out a little more, I would break the plateau. And I always did. It might take a month, but I'd always start losing weight again. Now that I know how my body can feel on a low carb, no sugar diet, I love it. I never feel bloated or sick or hungry. I don't have cravings or strong emotions to food anymore. I don't feel good when I eat a lot of carbs and sugar, so I know I won't go back to eating how I used to. Learning how to keep going through all the doubtful moments, the negative self-talk, the bad habits, and most of all, the passing of my dad to cancer this past year was tough. All I knew was that I couldn't give up. I made the commitment and I was going to stick to it. I think that's the most important thing I've learned in this journey, that life is never easy, that there's never going to be a perfect time to lose weight. Something will always happen to give you doubt. You can prepare your mindset for weight loss, but the true strength that keeps you going is developed throughout the journey itself. You gotta go through it. And spoiler alert, it's worth it. I definitely recommend the keto diet. There really is a low carb option for almost anything you wanna eat. I plan on eating this way forever. I may not always be strict keto, but I will always watch my carbs and sugar intake because I know they won't serve me well. It has been one year since I made my commitment. Today, January 1st, 2019, I weighed myself and I'm so proud to announce that I have lost 90 pounds in one year. It might not be the 100 I was hoping for, but I'll take it. And I'm ready to keep going. Thank you all for coming along on this journey with me. If your weight is holding you back from something, 
make the commitment that this will be your year to find your strength. If I could do it, so can you. See you guys next week.